I'm with Knights head baseball coach Gary Puccio, whose team improved three and two uh, this past weekend after splitting a pair of non-conference games against NJIT and St. Peter's. Coach, you guys lost the the game to NJIT three nothing before bouncing back to defeat St. Peter's nine nothing. Could you give us uh, some thoughts on the two games? Yeah, the New Jersey Tech game. Uh, they pitched a lefty named Trip Davis, and I thought. He pitched a phenomenal game against us. Uh, really was hitting the spots well. We didn't do a real good job of adjusting to it. I tried to pull a few too many balls instead of taking the ball the other way a little bit, and that led to us being shut out. But at the same time, I thought a lot of good positive things happened during that game. We gave him three runs. I uh, brought in Eric Anderson in a bases loaded, two out situation to face their lefty cleanup hitter. He struck him out. We also made no errors all weekend. So. There are a lot of positives from that game, even despite the loss. And the next day with St. Peter's, uh, we probably played as about as good a game as we could play. We executed very well. Melchiori was outstanding. Uh, the bullpen, Zach and uh, Spencer, were terrific, and, and we executed well. Again, made no errors and started to play good baseball. Do you feel that win against St. Peter's was a statement game since they kind of handled you guys three times last year? I think it was a step in the right direction towards that, towards making a statement that we're a better club. Um, again, we walked nobody in nine innings. That was outstanding. I think we've walked six guys so far in five games, which is much improved from where they've been. We've also played now three of the five games, I believe, were errorless games. So, yeah, we're, we're starting to do the right things, but, you know, one game doesn't make a season. At the same time, yeah, that game was a statement of saying this is how good we could be if we stay focused. Now you have Stony Brook on the schedule tomorrow. You guys played them two years ago. They beat you 5-1, but they uh, they can't come in you know, after beating Florida Atlantic two out of three and then playing tough against uh, North Carolina, who's ranked in the top 25. Um, what do you expect to uh, see tomorrow when you play the Seawolves? This is an uphill game for us. It's obviously a, a very good opponent. Uh, I know Matt Sank. Matt Sank and I coached against each other in 1979. We know each other over 30 years. Coached against each other as JV high school coaches. He runs an excellent program. Stony Brook's pick to win the America East. And it's, it's going to be a tough game. And hopefully the things we've learned so far and the things we've been doing so far will carry over tomorrow. And, and hopefully, you know, my line to the guys is we don't talk about winning and losing. We talk about level of play and playing at a certain ability level that we want to establish for our team and hopefully if we do that tomorrow it makes us competitive and then you never know. Now are you going to go with the same lineup you've been going with or maybe make some changes since it's a, a midweek game? I'm not 100% sure yet. Uh, my instincts are it will probably be pretty close to the same lineup. Alright coach well uh, thanks for taking the time to speak and good luck tomorrow. Thank you very much.